today we're talking about The Survivors by Jane Harper. I'm going to be reviewing this book and to go along with this atmospheric, moody book set in Tasmania, Australia, we're going to be cooking Tasmanian Sear Snapper with spinach sauce. So are you ready for this murder mystery? Let's open up and let's get cooking. Here at Nino Salvaggio's, and this is an amazing place to get groceries, to get flowers, to get fish, to get meat, and I'm so excited to take you guys there to buy red snapper because we're gonna make Tasmanian red snapper for dinner. So come join me. begins when Karen returns to his hometown, Evelyn Bay on the Tasmanian coast, after many years to visit his struggling parents. When someone in the neighborhood gets murdered, it brings back trauma for the whole town. Something had happened 12 years ago that gets resurrected as the murder investigation takes place. Guilt and trauma consume Karen as he struggles with the secrets that emerge. So what did I love the most about this book and why am I asking you all to read it? First of all, the small town charm was all there and it was honestly gorgeous. It was the main thing that kept me going. I'm a sucker for old towns with history, especially family history. This coastal small town is decaying. People are moving out, leaving the town a hollow shell of what it was before. The economy there has not only suffered, but Kieran's father also gets dementia and is stuck in loops of the past of what the town was before. Jane Harper really hits the right notes with the moody, stormy weather and the rocky ocean which captures the turmoil of Evelyn Bay so perfectly. Furthermore, Kieran and his girlfriend come back to Evelyn Bay after many years. The dynamics of how people change and age are so interesting as they interact with old friends. How each person decays and how the town decays is unique and well written. You get invested in each person's emotions and you root for everyone to not be the murderer. Also, the grief and collective trauma was so gorgeously dealt with. Kieran carries so much guilt on his shoulders for the death of his brother and his brother's best friend. 
What happened that night is a mystery in its own that you open up like a delicious sandwich. Their grief and trauma shifts and becomes a thing of the present after a young girl's murder on the beach. Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, I need to film. I'm sorry. Excuse me? You have to go. I know it's fish, but you, you have to respect. I'll give you some, okay? I love the way the story of what happened 12 years ago unravels in parallel to what is happening currently. The writing going back and forth between present day and 12 years ago was very masterful. And finally, the mystery of who murdered the girl is very fun. Everyone is a suspect, even Kieran's dementia-ridden father. So what could be better about this book? First of all, it takes time to get used to the writing rolling back and forth between the past and the present. I was kind of thrown off by it actually, but I realized the back and forth perspective shift actually mimics a wave-like motion, kind of like Evelyn Bay itself with the waves crashing on the beach, coming back and forth between the past and present and reminding us, the readers, as well as the characters in the book, that the past and the present come back and forth. And that's how the future is made. It's beautiful, but takes a second to get used to. So this book really reminds me of The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides because of its character-based mystery where you're trying to uncover who the murderer is. I love The Silent Patient and I really did love The Survivors. I stayed up all night reading it. I really wanted to know who did it, who committed the murder. And in The Silent Patient, if you guys have read that, you're also trying to discover who the murderer is.
So do I recommend this book? I mean, guys, if I actually took the time to make this video, we're actually cooking a red snapper dish from the region. This recipe is actually from Hobart, which is the capital of Tasmania, which is not far from Evelyn Bay. So I give this book four stars for being a great, fun story that deals with very deep themes in a digestible way. So ultimately, I recommend this book to anyone who loves a great, slow, character burn driven mystery set in an intriguing locale. Anyone who is into intriguing novels that are fun but not quite the best literary masterpieces. For me, a literary masterpiece would be something like Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is fun to me in the same way The Wife Upstairs was, if you guys have read that, that recently came out. It's just a great, quick read for a great time. If you want to help support more cooking videos and book videos on my channel, please subscribe, comment, and like. The next video that's going to be done in this style is going to be a normal people video, and we're going to cook something that reminds me of that book, and I hope you guys enjoy that too. Take care! Lemony green perfection.